And at first, anyway, we don't expect to see electrification under the hood. Our sources tell us the current 2.0 liter turbo and 3.6 liter V6 will carry over, though GMC could also turn to the turbocharged 2.7 liter four cylinder used in the Canyon. At 310 horsepower, it matches the output of the current V6 and vastly outperforms it with regards to torque, cranking out 430 pound feet. Now that heavy covers removed, we can see production parts are in place. That means a debut could happen as early as summer 2023. It's been a minute since we last saw a prototype of the next generation GMC Acadia. Actually, it's been two minutes, but our patience is rewarded with a good look at the SUV without any heavy camouflage, our previous GMC Acadia sighting from October 2022 captured a beefy SUV under black tarps but now we only have a body-hugging swirl wrap to contend with. And actually, we wouldn't blame you one bit if you thought this was actually a Chevrolet Traverse prototype. We can now see the new Acadia will grow slightly, likely returning to the full-size SUV genre versus its current classification as a mid-sizer, the body shape is very boxy and upright, the same as we've seen in Traverse spy shots. The rear looks identical, right down to the squared exhaust tips, mildly sloped glass, and reflectors on the bumpers. It appears the new Traverse and Acadia will share more than just a platform, but look closely at the side behind the rear door, you can see the general outline of the Acadia's rearmost side windows, with the beltline arching up slightly into a vertical C-pillar versus the forward slanting pillar on the Traverse. At the front, the camo wrap makes this SUV look like it's smiling but that's a side effect of the larger grille with a notched fascia at the corners, rising up to meet the headlights. The design looks similar to the GMC Yukon, and as such, there's a GMC badge under camouflage in the middle of that grille. None of the spy photos offer a look inside the cabin, but we can see coverings piled on the dash. A digital makeover is virtually guaranteed with large displays for the driver and center screens. Super Cruise should be available among a slathering of driver assist systems.